you come to Orlando, you think about Disney. Even though we ain't never been to Disney and shit ain't sweet, but people think about Disney when they when they talk about Florida. When we think of Orlando, we think of Disney World, we yeah, think of Orlando yeah. Magic. Why everybody getting that cuss? I already gave Disney. you like five vids before stream. I gotta understand. You don't give me vids. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Bro, I wanna show you something. Like, I really need to see you. I need to show you something. Like, I appreciate you. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate you. I already had this. I already had this. I already had this. I didn't have this. I ignored it because it's not something I will react to. But we could watch it if y'all want. I already had this and I already had this. I already had this. I just want to let you know. But I still appreciate you for doing it. Thank you. Yeah, not nah, that. Oh, no. I guess that is. I look cooler in those glasses. Why is Broly? Black Air Force energy. You can do that after this. Telegraph our moves. You can do it after this. What I can tell you is that these two gangs, the 438 gang and the Army gang, have got our attention now. The other five already in custody are responsible for nearly two million dollars in stolen property. Okay. Fifty nine stolen vehicles and nine. Two million in stolen property. 59 stolen vehicles, 19 stolen firearms. 19 stolen firearms. Uh, the prominent people. At I don't see the problem. They ain't uh, do shit wrong. Just between those eight people, they're responsible for. <laughs> <two> <laughs> now I ain't gonna lie, just eight people, two million, 59 cars, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> 130 <laughs> felony charges. A Jaquavius Smith, yeah, better known as Glock 9, just him himself well, yet, has been arrested for 52 felonies. Hi, what is up everybody? It's been far too long. The last episode was in Nigga, Florida, hot boy. and for this video, we gotta return there once more. Devious this licks. time, to Disney World's Orlando, where folks witnessed Scale, one of the put largest it on just chatting. cases in state history. This should Operation be second-hand nature for you now. Take 34 people down <laughs> from two separate crews. <laughs> to show you Scale's what this looks like, next the week. entire Bobby Shmurda <laughs> and GS9 indictment was Come 63 on, pages. Nigga just this Rico case in Florida is 700 pages long. Damn, nigga! 700 pages is ridiculous. Hot boy's name is Javari Walker, nigga. And his associates in possession of handguns, high powered rifles, bulk UOC currency. That's what I'm saying, nigga. Y'all niggas be taking pictures with these guns, these big ass guns, all this drugs, all this money. Y'all niggas be telling on yourselves. Except for this. At the moment, like this is kind of not telling on himself because he's a rapper, so you, you can't you can't really be on his dick like that. But at the end of the day, nigga, it is what it is. They still gonna use it. People at concerts They're putting still informants use it. in place to make controlled phone calls. One side, AFNF or the Army Top Gang, Glock is led by the popular rapper Glock Nine. The face of the other side, Four Three Eight, is well-known rapper Hot Boy. Nigga Both said 125 years. Friends coming up in the industry okay, together do it. till it all Take went yourself. left. Escalating into this year-long war that came crashing down quick, with folks hanging out the windows of cars, wielding AK-47s nah, in broad AKs daylight, hitting daycares AKs and, and memorials. Crazy. The city saw 30 back-to-back -back shootings in six months, and it forced Orlando to bring in the MBI, or Metropolitan Bureau of Investigations, basically Florida's version of the FBI, who built this whole case using wiretaps, Instagram, and evidence they found on people's phones. Wiretaps. Okay, there's nothing you can do about it. It is what it is. Instagram, nigga. <laughs> nigga, how? Imagine getting indicted because of social fucking media. That niggas is so fucking stupid, bro. Not po like, what What do you gain from posting that shit on Insta Instagram, nigga? Now, if you're a rapper trying to sell that image, it's a different, but it'd be, yeah, regular niggas just be fucking posting all y'all guns and shit, all this trap money. Like, nigga, what the fuck? Sometimes thousands of photos and videos that map out drug routes from Orlando to California, with folks taking trips back and forth, smuggling hundreds San of thousands Francisco, of dollars Charlotte. in suitcases, flying girls out separate to bring the product home, where they launder the profits through cars, guns, and show dogs. Glock 9, who signed a $2 million deal with Young Money and Birdman when he was only 18, now faces 52 charges, including frauding the government out of $10,000 through a series of PPP loan scams they only 10k bro let free that nigga bro well he do got 52 other charge 51 other but for p bro drop this charge bro 10k is not even a lot nigga niggas became millionaires off of ppp bro. got let intercepted out, when he tried showing it off to his friends on Instagram. <laughs> and when the news dropped of a pending rico charge his once friend turned rival hot boy decided to go on the run 
and then turned himself in, but then went on the run again after they revoked his bond. Hey, how boys in jail right now? No. Uh, we're getting into Literally all this, low key on first, a run, though. check out my song of the like, day. Just this be is having a one good from time my guy, Millie's. Let's go. This is to the tourist capital of America, home of Walt Disney Arcana, with 7 around. million visitors <laughs> coming in and out each year, bro, just Orlando, move, Florida. But there's a part of the city they don't show, the infamous ghettos of West Orlando. Backcountry roads, dry industrial land with scattered Certain housing states complexes that, like, they and can't come get you. It may not if look like can, much, like, it's a but lot it got harder. so bad in the 80s and I'll 90s, just stay there. they gave it the nickname Orlando. It's a war Orlando, going on crazy. in Orlando, and I'm not saying like a big war, it's just a war amongst ourselves and all this killings. But three artists from there were making a way out. Glock 9, Hot Boy, and Pootie, each from a different Pootie, neighborhood I never heard of a that unique nigga. Florida sound. And where most cities have problems, when three artists are coming up, these three were helping each other, sharing blog connections on World Star and Say Cheese TV, making songs together. We all was like tied in, bro. Like we was like brother, brother, brothers. We sleep with DJs like every day, be around these same. Damn, that like what's up with y'all Florida niggas? Like, like let's talk about New York. If niggas got beef, they don't fuck with each other like at all. But like, nigga, the other Florida videos, Young and Ace, Fulio, nigga, they used to be cool. Then this beef, these niggas, all three of these niggas was cool. Now they be like, what the fuck is this, nigga? I don't know shit when left. Yeah, that shit when left. The first to really blow up was Glock 9, with his massive song called 10% hitting 35 million views the summer of 2018. He had such a raw talent and energy that two months later, Burman and Young Money would sign him to a $2 million deal. It inspired his friends Hot Boy and Pootie to take music more serious. But Glock 9 was unpredictable. He was wild. You tell him there's rules, he was breaking them. You would have been in jail more than 10 times? Yeah. You're 18 right now? Yeah. You've been in jail 12 times? Yeah. Arrested for everything from possession of burglary tools to guns, he went from stealing cars in GTA at 11 to snatching real cars at 13. And after signing this $2 million <laughs> deal with Birdman, Glock 9 say, was getting picked up twice a year <laughs> and beating every case thanks to Young Money's private lawyers. No he even bragged niggas through text messages about being out on four separate bonds at once. Niggas feel like, yeah, nigga, I've been in that shit. Nigga, like, no, bro, that's not an accomplishment, nigga. What the fuck? Nigga, the goal is to be gangster, do all this dirt, do all this, feel me, do what you gotta do, get money, nigga, without going in. What the fuck? I've, I have never been arrested. God forbid, still to the day, I don't want to jinx it. Nigga, I have never been arrested for anything. Like, handcuffs never touched me, nothing, nigga. Never been to the bookings, nothing. My family, like, all they know, I get in trouble. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hot here. I say I'm, from I'm 15 crash. to 19, no, nigga, like, those four, that span the span of 40, nah, 2018, say, like, 14 the year to 19, up, nigga. His friend it should at least happen once. But I was blessed, nigga, that it happened at one time. Hot Boy was serving two extra years in a Florida right detention now. Go center ahead, nigga. I'm for wrecking the clean. place. But one day they gave him a 24-hour pass to go home. And he went straight to the studio to record music with Glock 9 and Pootie, creating this song Hooligan, which would have been a massive record, except they would never release it. Glock 9 was burning bridges left and right. He had a falling out with Say Cheese TV, one of the largest bloggers and platforms to exist, who was promoting him. Pussy. You got more money than me? Pussy. You ain't gonna laugh on no way, nigga. That's Pussy. why you own me. Put you up on you because that money get into your head. My bro you been alive for a year now. He was bro. 15. That's tight. By the bro. time Hot Boy got out of juvie, on the outside, Glock 9 and Pootie well, started going at each other. Don't tell me, Hot Boy caught in the yourself, middle. Nigga. Why is there no Hot Boy? You never did nothing bad. There's no Pootie. Uh, hot boy records. Shit just went up. Shit went up. You being cool with both of them. Who you said? You could kind of squash that beef. I tried. You tried before. Yeah, I tried. Yeah. That shit dead. But with the release of these Rico papers, the feds paint a picture of a bunch of crews competing to further their own interests. Got it wasn't once. just music they were into. It was all sorts of money schemes what in happened? the criminal underworld they had hands in. Glock 9 had his own clan, All Friends No Family, or AFNF, who mainly stay in the Mercy Drive area of West Orlando. All friends, no which family. They say was built. Nigga, he's literally telling you he's gonna snake you. <laughs> what the fuck? I've gotten into a situation with the police, but never. On a cemetery, it has mandated 24/7 police boy? patrols, so and like AFNF was organizing like anything. a war was about to happen. Texting each other gang structures and rules, they had a system where a female associate would legally purchase guns for everybody in the crew who was a convicted felon. And when a Kentucky rapper named 2K Baby came to visit Orlando, AFNF robbed him of his jewelry, taking Damn. the grills from his mouth, his money. How come I never heard of this? Well, 2K Baby's not even relevant. Nigga took the grills out his mouth? Damn, bro. Nigga was not good in the city. Who he came to do a video with? 
Wait, he can't do a video with the niggas who robbed him? Then went on Instagram live at the Mercy Drive Apartments, challenging his folks to come get it back. This the only way you gonna come in, the only way you gonna pull out. What you gonna do? Let me see where you at. You already put insurance The Brits, the Brits, the same place this shit happened at. 14, Mercy Drive. Mercy Drive. Exactly. Hey, my homeboy say he want to chain back, huh? How much y'all was spent for it? By October of 2019, the tension with the various crews was rising. Pooty dropped this song, Address It, a freestyle where he was dissing Glock 9, saying they both bleed the same, and that it was war. And right around then, the Orlando police began putting in surveillance Damn, early. Bro. They knew shit was starting to they boil over. They was wearing it, foul the girl. That's mad nasty, I'm not gonna lie. That's mad nasty. <laughs> I'm not wearing another nigga grill. I might not even wear the chain, nigga. I'm selling that bitch. Equally, the crews knew they were being Damn, watched. Bro, they even set up counter surveillance to watch the feds watching them posting videos to Instagram with middle finger emojis pointed at hidden squad cars in the bushes. And by the time 2020 rolled around, there were agents watching Hopboy at all his concerts. Nobody with officers special. stalking Instagram feeds as well uh, oh, because they couldn't saying. believe the money people were pulling in. Hopboy, of course, nigga. had a real rap career making legitimate music money but the feds were watching him make plays on his cell phone, texting people for t-shirts, which was a code word for 100 pounds of coke that yeah. was to be broken up and resold. Uh, See, uh, these wiretaps uh, didn't only reveal what the rappers and crews what, what were doing, said? it went all the way to the source of supply for the gangs in the city, specifically Hot Boys 438 gang from the Silver Star, Pine Hills area of West Orlando. As the feds wiretapped the most prominent narco trafficker in the- you did, you, do, you did Airbnb. Bro, no, two people done came, took the girl off the plane, now she getting questioned. They asked me, do I know anything about the money that was in the suitcase to stop playing? The city who's doing business with them. An Orlando kingpin who bi-weekly was smuggling bulk US currency to the tune of 200 grand in suitcases and using girls as mules to fly that product back from Cali and resell in Orlando. The feds intercepted texts where they were telling each other to save these messages as a reminder because they were about to be millionaires. But with the feds monitoring warehouses, dodging the save these texts because we're gonna be millionaires. Are you fucking retarded? Scouts left and right. I don't even the know y'all niggas. I'm not Glock saving nothing. Side and Pootie and Hot Boy was really about to escalate My a few chain months later her cheeks, in April, ass chain. at a house party where Glock 9's best friend would shoot Hot Boy's right hand man, Wolf Luma, Damn. killing him. This was Pootie's good friend too. The event brought Hot Boy and Pootie much closer. Damn. Eleven days so after, nigga just making enemies and shit, and bringing the ops closer and shit. Like, bro. <laughs> What the fuck? They had a funeral for Wolf Luma where Hot Boy filmed this iconic music video at the service with everybody dressed in all black. Later that same day, they all went back to Pootie's neighborhood to hold a vigil for their friend who was killed. But their rivals AFNF found out driving over to the memorial in a small dark SUV. Glock 9, I ain't gonna lie, yeah, I think this got it, man. Yeah, I think this got it, man. Cause niggas always talking about this gangster shit. I'ma slide them on doing this. I'ma slide on them when they doing that. Nigga, ah, 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 fuck the dad. Nah, nigga, he really said fuck your homie, fuck the funeral, fuck whatever, nigga. I'm sliding on y'all. I don't give a fuck what day it is, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? You about to hear this bitch out? SUV. They began shooting into the crowd that was gathered, hitting Pootie and three others, killing and a pro football prospect who had just signed with Louisville University. Investigators say this was retaliation. Did he lose his career? He got hit. That's all it says. Did he lose his career though? Who had just signed with Louisville that's University. That's so tough, nigga. Investigators like, say this was so retaliation tough. just for Glock 9's friend getting arrested for the shooting of Wolf Luma. The very next month, 90,000 people tuned in for the live stream of the funeral for this 18-year-old football player who was killed. There was a chilling moment. Bro, niggas gotta be stopped, bro. And that's so crazy. It's like, bro, once you once you have a path, like, if you're good at basketball, you're good at sports, you're good at this, you're good at gaming, bro, you gotta stay off the streets, bro. The streets don't love nobody, bro. The streets don't love no one, nigga. It don't matter who you are, what you do. Bro, he could have probably never, ever chilled in the hood before, like, once he really started taking it seriously. He could have been out the hood, nigga. Never in no gang shit, never getting no money with them, never. But... One of his friends died, so he showed up to the goddamn thing. He just got aired out. Career done, life over, like... Bro, once you once you got a path, nigga, don't stray away from it. Like, even hanging out with certain niggas, bro. I'm telling you, chat, you can't even hang out with certain niggas once you're on the path. 
You know what these niggas be on. You can't hang out with them, bro. Moment when the bishop quieted the whole room and said, no suspect has been arrested yet, but folks are sitting here knowing who did it. This has to stop. See, Glock9 and others in AFNF had set up this network of unemployment scams across various states in the country with a database of names, addresses, and credit scores all saved on Glock9's phone. He was using these scams to pay for the bonds of lower ranking members that got jammed up. That way they could fund this war for a long time, choosing to discuss business over FaceTime to prevent the feds from listening in. Both the 438 gang and AFNF had hierarchies and subsets. Both of them were competing as the feds watched 438 members boast through text message that they had enough money and guns to do what they wanted and that made AFNF jealous. By the summer of 2020, the beef even spilled out of town into Jacksonville, Florida, with Glock 9 putting out this song on the 1st of July called Criminal Minds. And in it, he says his enemies were clicking up making teams. He was actually talking about the well-known rapper Fulio out of Jacksonville. How you watch your mama get popped? You got shot in the ass, and you wrote a statement. All three of them things do not go together. Where you tripping? All you because Fulio would take a photo with Pooty, and this made Glock 9 mad. So he started dissing Fulio's deceased friends, and it caused Fulio's enemies from Jacksonville, like Queso, to then click up with Glock 9, where there was even almost a massive brawl at a mall in Atlanta when Queso crossed paths with Pooty, and things were seconds away from turning dangerous. Oh, you can't stop all y'all. Y'all get to shoot at them cocky. Don't cocky can't stop. Wait, Queso passed Pooty? Wait, that didn't make no sense just now. I thought they was cool. Isn't Queso from with Fulio's camp? In case, wait, wait, what? And Pooty's, I don't even, that didn't even just make no sense. Hold on. Glock 9 mad. You tripping. All because Fulio would take a photo with Pooty, and this made Glock 9 mad. So he started dissing Fulio's deceased friends. Oh, Queso, and it caused Nace Fulio's man's? enemies from Jacksonville, Th like Wait, Queso. why did you just say dumbass? Why did you just say dumbass? Like, I'm just supposed to fucking know. Like, I'm trying to listen. That's why I went back. He started dissing Fulio's deceased friends, and it caused Fulio's enemies from Jacksonville, like oh, Queso, okay, to then okay. click up with Glock 9, okay, okay, where okay, there was okay, even okay. almost a massive brawl at a mall in Atlanta when right. Queso crossed paths with Pooty, and things were seconds away from turning dangerous. Oh, you can't stop all y'all. Y'all get to shoot at them cocky. But back in Orlando, the fed. OPD was concerned there would be a string of shootings very soon, and they were right. Four days into July, police arrived at a house in West Orlando with reports of gunshots. They found Glock 9's car with dark tinted windows riddled in bullets, and him nowhere to be found. Listening in on phone calls, the feds learned of new strategies AFNF was using to avoid police when they were going on missions. They were riding around in rental vehicles with dark tints to see if they would get pulled over frequently in case they had to gun it in a high speed chase. They were even gonna put white boy stickers on vehicles so the police would think it was white people in the car and not try and stop them. Four days after they found Glock 9's car abandoned with bullet holes in it, one of his friends who went by the name Baby Joker was driving around deep in 438 territory looking for rivals to tag. They pulled in at a place where one of Hot Boy's good friends stayed at, driving a grey Dodge Challenger, and began firing at folks, with people scattering all over the yard. Hot Boy's friend reacted quickly, running inside to grab his Draco, and came back shooting at Baby Joker in the grey Dodge Challenger, which at this point was stranded in the middle of the road with the driver's hands all shot up, unable to get away. Baby Joker was dead. The craziest part, Hot Boy's friend, the guy they were aiming at, was someone they knew since they were kids. That's crazy, since you knew it was they kid. Hey, that's what he get. <laughs> Bro, I'm not spinning in another nigga hood, staying in the middle of their territory, just waiting and waiting and waiting until I see a nigga and then lose. What the fuck? What the fuck? I, I, bro, it'll be a cold day in hell before I go out like that, nigga. ZLG winning because we got the we got me and Pisa. We got Zay the Tank. This particular shooting would get referenced in ZLG a lot of music as 438 boasted about this failed hit attempt. In his song Left Lonely, Hot Boy tells Glock 9 directly, Your little stepper ran down and he died. Hot Boy was blowing up and doing songs with Lil Baby. He even signed to 100k management, the same guys who managed King Von and YNW Melly. And there were other artists from the Silver Star 438 region, like Cut'em Reese, who was getting quite popular getting song placements in Madden 2K games. He was even one of the rare artists who was able to get Chief Keef to do a music video with him, 
The feds had theories. Glock 9 was jealous. Reese's career was taking off. One day, Glock 9 blasted over to Reese's house with rifles and pistols in the car, leaving it riddled with bullets. Witnesses told detectives Glock 9 was trying to eliminate the competition. Damn, this nigga a hater, nigga. <laughs> very next day, Reese would retaliate back, going with five other 438 members to Glock's aunt's house where he was sleeping if at. If cops was use social media to... Nigga, you sound dumb as fuck. Cops use social media, dumbass. They usually... Like, Chad, do y'all really think these niggas is just... Like, don't get these Netflix shows and these TV shows gas, gas you up, nigga. 99% of the time, niggas find out shit is because of us. Either we post it, Instagram, all that, uh, uh, or someone's snitching. And the other 1% is wiretaps, and it's illegal to use those. Like, they use that to, like, form strategies. Like, yeah, they may have you admitting to some shit. Oh, yeah, I did this and that. But if it's wiretap, they do it illegally. They can't use it in court. So it's not going to hold up. It's not going to stick. But, yeah, nigga, Instagram, wiretap, snitching, nigga, nigga's music, which won't also won't hold up. But that's how fucking GS9 got locked up because of the song Hot Boy. I mean, Hot Nigga. Like, this is how they fucking, this is how they do it, nigga. Fed lottery, nigga. I'm not no fed, nigga. I just know what the fuck. Nigga, you need to know this stuff so you won't do it. Yeah. You need to know this stuff so you won't house, do it, nigga. Riddled in bullets as well. Jealousy this particular feud facts. was crazy as the police counted five different attempts where Glock 9 tried to take Reese's life in a matter of months, including a time where Reese was filming a music video in his purple Hellcat and was being followed by AFNF members who pulled up next to him in traffic and started shooting. Reese shot back and managed to escape, but then crashed into an oncoming vehicle and had to abandon the purple Hellcat with busted up legs. With Damn. all this death and violence happening in the city, Orlando finally hit up the Metropolitan Bureau Damn, of Investigations bro. for help. They needed 18 Grandpa different Mitch, agencies good, she. to collaborate. Good, and the tipping point, of course, doing? was the infamous shootout at you the Millennium like Mall. If you want the Rock city on? to act, do something where their money is at risk. In what a public a space narrating. with loads of businesses and wealthy people. On October 8th of last year, Orlando's luxury mall of Millennia was a scene of chaos as OPD officers responded to a shooting that broke out in the parking lot. It was three against four, Glock 9 and three others versus three 438 members. On surveillance video, you see the 438 guys leaving the mall, getting into a white BMW, and then rolling the car slowly with shooters positioned behind the car doors, firing at Glock 9 and his people don't be who were taking cover behind their own car. With bystanders running everywhere, you can literally walk. You can literally walk around with a ski mask on, and niggas still won't protect their face, cover their face. Like what the fuck? Yeah, you're literally allowed to walk around in a ski. Well, you always been allowed to walk around in ski masks, but now niggas won't look at you as a robber and shit like that or a menace. You just it's COVID. Ah, and niggas will still show their face. A security <laughs> like, rush to evacuate I don't get the it. mall, and despite a hail of gunfire, nobody actually got hit. But now the feds were getting more search warrants and surveillance than ever before confiscating cell phones left and right, where they found people's internet history, how to turn semi-automatic guns into fully automatic guns easily, <laughs> numerous Google searches on phones. <laughs> niggas is on Google looking up how to really kill a nigga. They're like, nah, how to turn this chop into a sign out, nigga? How to turn this shit into a rocket launcher, nigga? <laughs> looking up specific Yo. shootings that happened in the central Florida area. Bro, Meanwhile, the police were meeting with <laughs> confidential informants who knew all about the 438 gang, their members, nah, their inner workings, bro. everything. The informants told Chat, them... what I said, bro, it's just, it's this internet shit, bro. Niggas is telling on themselves, The thousand dollar hits being placed on people's heads and recommended the police act swiftly because more people were gonna die. And the rest, well, the rest of the story you know now. 34 people from two rival crews brought down in Operation X. And before I let you go, people always ask me what beats are in the video. I've listed the fantastic producers in order in the description below. And for the intro beat, I teamed up with Chris Rich. Links for that are in the description below. Uh, Trap Geek is really a fed. Trap Geek is really a fed. That's why he only posts like once every two months or some shit. Tell my blessings on one hand, but I'm grateful. When I make it home, look to the sky and I say thank you. I peeked the snakes up in the grass, I couldn't play cool. If they put the up and leave, nigga, they was mental.